All right, so here's a little update on the water pump protector install. I was actually missing some parts. So that big hole in the box from DHL. Yep, thanks for that. It's missing one little packet. And I had rubber grommet. So don't forget to put your little rubber grommet in. And a little spacer and a bolt to replace this one. So what we need to do is take that bolt off do pretty easy because I've got it undone already. And then behind here, we need to take this bolt and spacer out because that bolt that we just took out was like a little four mil. And we need to put a bigger one in. So in the kit, you'll get like a 75 mil long five mil bolt and a spacer. So I'll take that out now and show you the difference. Okay, so just use an M5 Allen key in the middle there, unscrew that. We take him out and then behind that bracket is where we're going to put this little spacer. Just like that. I've just put the bolt in for the time being, but so the 75 mil long bolt will go through that after. So pretty much. So that will go in there like that. I'm just gonna put the bolt in to mount up to the top. The one that I broke last time. So I've got a new bolt for that one. So last time that I tightened this up, I broke the bolt, so got a new bolt. And I'm just gonna put this on here loosely for the second. So now I need to get this protector on, but we need to hold a little spacer so we can take the bolt out and move it all in line. And the new screw that goes in the bottom, instead of being an Allen key, it's changed to a T30. And they're done up to eight Newton meters. Which is about that. And we can continue to tighten this one up. Definitely not going to over tighten it this time. There we go. And that is the water pump protector fitted. Don't forget to put the rubber in. From what I've read on some forums, a lot of people are having problems with it touching, which I can't really see how. As you can see there, there's a lot of gap. So just gonna put the sump protector back on and then she's good to go. Okay, so all mounted up correctly now. Got a new bolt in there and new mounting bracket sorry new mounting spacer and bolt in the bottom section and all mounted up all good to go next week i'll have side luggage rack and a rear rack arrive so i'll be mounting them up before i go on the next adventure but in the meantime i need to go buy a new gopro because if you've seen the last video it doesn't want to work very well. Oh yeah, also got some new washers. So that's all mounted up correctly now as well.